Good morning, folks. We've got morphing at the lead Sunspot Group. Weather and science news from Earth out into the cosmos. Let's begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star with the twin active regions creeping further onto the Earth-facing disk. Intermittent eruptive behavior has continued the last day, but it has changed considerably. We have gone from short, impulsive flares to longer duration flaring with more broad CME production potential, the trailing spot all alone but managing to stay active, and the lead no longer in a circle. We've got a lateral spreading of that umbral cord that has temporarily pushed the positive blue umbra back off the line, but when a sunspot does this, it means two things. First, a pattern change in the spot flaring can be expected, and second, it will be to the tune of either total sunspot collapse or much larger flares. We get to find out the next few days. Let's come to weather next, where Texas is flooding and it doesn't stop there. Tornado concerns will fly again tonight as the week-long onslaught continues. Eyes on your local forecast, please, for sure, throughout the afternoon. We are also seeing the cold and snow unmatched in France for more than 50 years. FYI, northern New Valley of the Sun due to get some snow tonight and tomorrow. Let's move on to MIT, studying the monsoon, and I got so excited at the prospect of this at first. Sea surface temperature and wind driving the monsoon, not the Himalayan mountains? Well, that's fun because the sun drives the wind and sea surface temperatures. But alas, another walk through Fantasia with MIT as they simulated a water world planet, stuck a perfect rectangle landmass on it, which did not include the Himalayas, and then played around with seasonal heating changes until a monsoon occurred. Congratulations to their team, but we are indeed more concerned with Earth-relevant science. Up next... Haumea and its ring. One of the dwarf planets orbiting past Pluto has now been confirmed to have that ring. The light curve suggested it two years ago, but now confirmed. We're going next to the closest star system, Proxima Centauri, where the famed planet B is supposed to orbit in the habitable zone of the star, with a larger planet orbiting further out. The problem is that Proxima B probably isn't real. Repeated attempts to confirm in all the normal ways have failed to produce significant findings, and so there may indeed not be a planet there in its habitable zone after all. We're coming around to a distant system next, Alma taking the radio view here, and in addition to being a gorgeous display of likely carbon monoxide spectral return, I want you to see what happens when you look at a bright central object with surrounding material and do it in the millimeter and submillimeter wavelengths. Turns out you don't get much of the central object, do you? And nobody would ever claim it's a black hole in the middle of these planets and rings. We know for a fact it is a bright star. Radio images can be tricky, can't they? Also tricky, NOVA events. While the main study here is about chemistry, they believe it may be the first ever example of an orbiting partner or close-in planet to the star getting blasted by the NOVA shockwave itself. That would be a fun catch, provided it's far away. And while we're discussing NOVA, we have the record fastest declining NOVA light, with the parameters and distance to source implicating that this was much more of what we've come to call a micronova, with the dust and expansion quickly overtaking the brightness. Last little note, on the preposterously large dark matter attempting to be shoved down our throats based on a theory. I have spoken this week with professors and scientists at the national labs, many of whom are doing the plasma universe science. First, they have no idea why the national labs are all doing one thing and dark matter scientists aren't paying attention. And two, they are too busy trying to trick the money masters into funding the super super collider. One hopes the governments aren't so gullible, but golly, I guess we're going to get an answer here, aren't we? Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.